my aunt, with whom we had spent two weeks. She got up early in the morning and killed the chickens and then fried them and made a big, big lunch. Enough for dinner that, uh, let's see, enough for two meals for the evening meal and the next morning. No wonder she died in her 50s. I don't know how she managed to find time to fry all that chicken, but it was a huge lunch because the minute we got on that boat, we were starved. <laughs> and we started, we went up to the upper level of the boat and we started to eat the lunch before we had even left Pier 4, Pratt Street. That was the, uh, that was the dock. But I know that we didn't have the money to eat in the, bon in the dining room and that was why my mother cooked this big lunch. Money was scarce with us. <laughs> well, we only went down for our vacation once a year. That was all. It was a big thing, that trip on the steamer. As I said, we only went down because my aunt invited us to come for our vacation, and we were there a couple of weeks Maybe, I guess my father probably didn't stay two weeks because he was working. <laughs> <laughs>